Hey friends, it's your old pal SVH here. Uh, I wanted to take a moment to just say hello. Uh, welcome everybody to the, the show today. Um, I did not do a daily nugget yesterday. My apologies. The day just got away from me. And today I think in place of the daily nugget, I want to give something a little bit more robust. And uh, you know, I thought this would be a really appropriate time to share a short guided meditation, um, which is really more, more than a meditation. It's really more of a journey. That, uh, that we can take together here on the channel. Um, and uh, this is a really a, a lesson on guidance. Um, and I'll talk more about it after, after we go through the little journey. But um, yeah, just wanted to share this with you. And uh, let's see where it takes you. I think this will be something you'll really enjoy. So um, just sit relaxed, comfortable. Um, if you can sit with your back up straight, that's great. <clears throat> Um, but just just sit comfortable and relaxed. If you're lying down, that's fine. Just don't fall asleep. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's let's take a little journey together. All right. So close your eyes. Take a few moments to just kind of settle into the breath. Okay, imagine if you will, in this relaxed state, that you are sitting in a little boat out in the middle of the ocean, a small, almost like a rowboat, out in the middle of the ocean. And you don't have any motor, there's no sophisticated GPS or navigation system. It's just you and your boat. And it just so happens to be the phase of the moon where the moon is the least bright. It's a dim, very hard to see moon. And it's cloudy. So there's really no visibility. You're floating in the ocean in this little boat. And for all intents and purposes, you're lost. Lost at sea. And for a moment, you might feel panic. You might feel some worry. You might feel some concern. And you just kind of wait sit with that feeling and that feeling might grow or that feeling might diminish but eventually sitting there in the darkness of night in your little boat floating in the middle of the ocean lost at sea something calls from within Something reaches upward and says, you must do something. You have to do something. You can't just sit here, lost at sea. And you may at first suppress this feeling. You may push it away, silence the voice. But it keeps kind of coming back. You must do something. You can't just sit here in your little boat lost at sea in the middle of the ocean. So eventually you find the strength, you find the courage from within to try to do something. So with one oar you fashion a rudder for your little boat Maybe find some material and another oar to fashion a little sail. But no real idea of what direction to go or where, where to steer. But with your little rudder and your little sail and your little boat, 
you construct this way of a potentiality that maybe maybe you'll just get lucky and catch a little bit of wind and maybe it'll lead you in some direction towards land so you raise your sail you put your rudder in the water moving in in whatever direction the wind might carry you still lost at sea but having made an effort and an intention to try to find some way to do something you listen to this voice from within and now you catch a little bit of wind and now you move in a direction where you're actually getting some movement and motion so you're steering with your little rudder and you're moving forward you're moving in this forward direction now moving towards something from a state of panic from a state of fear and unknowing to now feeling this little bit of hope because you listen to that voice within to to act and as you contemplate this thought sailing along in whatever direction out of the corner of your eye you catch what looks to be a glint of light yes yes I see it there it is it was a glint of light far far off in the distance a little speck and as you focus a little bit more you realize ah yes there, there's a light this looks like a searchlight or some sort of beacon so now with a, a sense of direction and a further enlivened sense of hope you steer towards this glimmer of light and as it becomes closer as you begin begin to get closer to this origin of this light the light gets brighter a little more distinct so you keep working towards this working towards this and at this point you can now take that sail and that little rudder and you can paddle so now you start you put your paddles back in the water your oars back in the water and you start rowing towards the light rowing and increasing with energy increasing with the power as you row towards the light and now as you reach the light you can see by its glow that it's a lighthouse so now this new sense of invigoration comes knowing that dry land is not too far off I just have to follow the, the guidance of this light and as you get closer you become now so close that you're surrounded by the light and you're inside the hue of that light and now little images of your boat become more clear the waves and the ripples of the water around you become more clear more evident and as you get closer and closer and more imbibed in the light you can see the shore you can see the land and you can now start to make out structure of the lighthouse until finally you reach shore and you're standing in the glow of this guiding light that brought you from being lost at sea to now being safe on dry land surrounded by light out of a state of utter darkness And as you stand in this glow and contemplate this achievement you realize 
that that guiding light was inside you all along. That impulse that stirred in you, that little voice that you listened to, that glimmer of hope that gave you direction, the energy and the intention that you put into the rowing to move towards that light, towards that guiding light. You now stand here and realize that the teacher or the guidance or the direction that you sought was you. It was in you all along. So take a moment and just relax in this thought for a moment, standing on the shore, looking out at the vast darkness of the ocean from whence you came, feeling that sense of accomplishment, feeling that sense of faith and hope because you listened. You listened to your own inner guide. When I first took initiation into the Sufi order and came under the, the tutelage and guidance of my, my spiritual guide, I was given a wazif to practice, which a wazif is a a term, a sacred name that we use to really embody a certain a certain quality. And that first wazif that I was given was Ya Hadi. Ya Hadi. Ya is kind of a calling out, it's like saying oh. You say, you know, you hear some people in, in um, different circumstances say, Ya Allah, and that's calling out to God, saying, Oh God. But Yahadi is calling out to that guidance, that spirit of guidance, divine guidance. Yahadi. And the way it was actually given to me was to do it as a walking meditation with a almost a hand chop so that as you say ya hadi you're chopping through all of the atmosphere and all that's around you and all the veils that you have to cut through to really be guided towards your your goal and your destination and another sacred phrase that we use that pairs really well with ya hadi because usually these are done as wazifa which means the wazif um, being a, the phrase and wazifa being the, you know, multiple phrases used together, um, is the, uh, the wazifa ya nur, and nur being the word for light, and, and in this case meaning divine light or the light of guidance, guiding light. So when I do this little guided meditative journey, on the lighthouse and the guidance I like to do just a few recitations of these sacred phrases together because it really helps you to embody that essence of guiding light within yourself hearing the guide the inner guide and relying on that light of truth that lies within us and really seeing clearly through the divine light that shines through us there's a lot of different ways that you can interpret these terms and these and these meanings for yourself because each is going to have his own or her own personal walk with God and you're going to have your own experience in meditation and with different phrases and terminology and things like that so I just thought we might do this seven times seven being a, a sacred number and a uh, one of, one of the different numerological variations that we use when we chant, sometimes it's seven, sometimes it's, <coughs> excuse me, sometimes it's 33, sometimes it's 11, um, you know, in traditional, a traditional mala or prayer bead is 108, 
Um, 101 sometimes is used, sometimes 99. It really depends on the situation, the energy that you're trying to create. And um, But we'll do it seven times just to kind of get a feeling of that energy of Yahadi and Yanur. And we'll do it seven times recited. And then we'll do it just for a moment, breathing in Hadi and breathing out Nur. We can drop the Ya at that point. And what we're doing now is really just feeling and embodying that, but keeping the concentration on that. So with the in breath, breathing in that sense of the inner guide, guidance coming from a divine essence to the to the inner and then breathing out that glow of light almost as if having headlights out of your eyes that are are shining out there to give you guidance and light and light up what's in front of you so we'll do the recitation seven times we'll do it on the breath breathing in i'll give the instruction as we do it and then lastly just dropping the names dropping the concentration on the names and just really breathing in and out that feeling, that essence and knowing at that time that that presence is with you, that those, those qualities are in you and you've awoken them. So seven times, Yahadi Yanur. Yahadi Ya Nur Ya Hadi Ya Nur Ya Hadi Ya Ya Hadi Ya Nur Ya Hadi Ya Nur Ya Hadi Ya Ya Hadi Ya Now breathing in Hadi Breathing out Nur Breathing in that divine guidance from the universe. Breathing out that divine radiance, Yanur. Breathing in Hadi, breathing out Yanur. Now dropping the concentration on the names, just breathing in, feeling that feeling of guidance within yourself, breathing out, feeling that radiation of divine light from within, just focusing on these subtle feelings on the breath.
So I hope this journey finds you well. We all need guidance right now, and we all need to really follow our own inner guidance. And I just want to encourage everyone who's watching this video and who went on this little journey together to know that we are all one. We are all united. And we all need to rely on the real inner guidance of our own inner light, which all comes from that one divine source. As I've said often, God is the sun and we are the rays of the sun. And they're not different. They're not detached. They're all together. There's no one without the other. So, my prayer to you is that you find this deep connection with your own inner guidance. And that you radiate the divine light of your own clarity, your own understanding, your own illumination. That's my prayer for you tonight, my friends. Thank you so much. I would like to ask you to make sure you go to my channel, youtube.com slash the SVH. Make sure that you're subscribing. Make sure that you're not missing any of these opportunities to spend time together in prayer meditation or just in teaching and learning and growing together. That's really what it's all about. And uh, if you feel compelled to share this with another, I appreciate that. If you'd like more information on the Sufi message or Sufi mysticism or um, you know what it means to be on our path, uh, what it means to take initiation and you know seek out a guide, um, I'm happy to answer those questions, happy to have an open forum discussion about these things anytime, anyplace. So thank you all and good night.